jingle them bells and frolic. Oh my gosh, some stolly eggnog. Hi guys, Maureen, Maureen, Maureen. Hi, welcome to a brand new vlog. It is, what day? It's Wednesday evening. I have just, wait, first of all, Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, I hope you like what you see and click on the subscribe button. Join us, join this beautiful family. I have just done a Christmas intro. I had an idea to shoot an intro for like the December period, the Christmas period, and that's what I've just done. I'm wearing this, this is actually a cover up, uh, like a bikini cover up that you know what, I haven't worn in a long time because I haven't been on a holiday for a long time. So I thought, let me put it to good use, you know? So the idea was to, because my tree is white, to wear something white. And this is the only thing I think that I have that's like pure white, that is like a dress and flowy and everything. So yeah, so that's what I just shot. I'm very excited. Lenovo was helping me shoot that. It's quite see-through, so I'm wearing long leggings underneath so that, but unfortunately here on top, I can't wear anything because the dress is backless. So I just wanted to say hello. Let's start a new vlog. The, um, I think tomorrow is the last day of November. Is it tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow is the last day of November. So you're definitely going to be seeing this like this Sunday. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hi, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, please check. Because sometimes we watch because YouTube will bring the people that we watch regularly on our screens and then we think we subscribed. Please just check if you don't mind. If you are subscribed or not, if you are not, please click on the subscribe button. Please like this video and comment and you and I will chat again tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night. you tell your friends about I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know cause you know I could ruin your life rumor has it you have someone new she'll regret you like a bad tattoo cause you'll never change you'll always stay the same go on and tell all your friends all about me I don't give a nothing sticks to me baby yes honey welcome to another day of the vlog I am busy today I'm busy with laundry because we didn't have water for a few days technical issues all sorted so I need to catch up on all of the washing that I couldn't do because I do laundry like I try and do laundry as many times as I can in a week because guys I have a belief oh I grew up 
I think I was taught this at home. In zoo, it doesn't matter how clean your house or your home is, but if there's dirty laundry in the washing bra, like your house is dirty. So I literally cannot. So my husband says to me, I enjoy doing laundry. I don't enjoy doing laundry. I hate it because I cannot get the feeling off that when there's laundry in the basket, then my house smells, you know, like I know it's an exaggeration, but like that's what we were taught growing up. So it's just a thing. When I get a chance, I do laundry. So now I'm saying that to tell you guys that this gown, name, it doesn't look as bad on, on camera and thank God for that. So this gown, I got it from my grandmother. This is the gown that I always wear on the vlog. My grandmother, when she passed, you know, when they give out, uh, you know, her, the deceased clothes and whatever valued items that she had, this is this and a pair of her pajamas and a poncho. Those are the only three things that I took when my grandmother passed. Remember guys, I said this before, she was like my mom. My grandmother brought me up. My my mom got married to my stepdad when I was very, very young, like around, like very young. Like when they started a relationship, I think I was about four or five years old. So I've always been like my grandmother's child, you know? But when she passed, I wanted, I just wanted sentimental things, like things that were like, you know, like close to her. I kind of feel like I need something that will make me feel like she's hugging me, she's holding me when I'm using it or wearing it, you know? And this gown was the last gown that she had before she passed, like when she was in hospital. This is what she wore. So I'm trying to salvage it. It's not as white as it used to be. So I'm gonna try the, the, the bicarb. I went in and um, refilled on, on the bicarb and the vinegar, white vinegar. <clears throat> Guys, if, if you know Balintlapo, you know Guti bicarbonate of soda is her thing and some white vinegar. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna soak it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll still wear the gown, guys. And if you see the gown on the vlog and it's not looking as white as it should, I understand that this gown is many, many years old. Like my, my grandmother passed a long time ago, so understand so i love this every time i wear this i feel like my granny is giving me a, a literal hug you know i'm not a very sentimental person like that like i'm not like i really am not i'm not like i don't hold on to things just for the sake of holding on to them the only things that i can remember i think in my life that i've really like fought to hold on to oh there's two other um, like ornaments that i took from her those were like those things i grew up with like they've Ever since I can remember, those things were in the house growing up, so I kept them. I'll show you guys a little bit later. So the only things that I feel like I've ever like held on to, uh, and I feel like they have sentimental value to me, are like these things from my grandmother that I've just mentioned, and my daughter's um, dress that she wore during at our wedding. Let me get it. I'm gonna show it to you guys. The plan was to frame the dress. I, I don't know. I never got to doing it, you know, but. I've given all her things away, like I'm always giving away stuff, their, their stuff, their children's, I'm always clearing up their wardrobes, but that dress, I had to hold on to it. Let me show it to you quickly, guys. You'll agree, Nani, you'll agree that it's, it's, it, it deserves to be kept. How cute is this dress? Look, it's got little pink flower, pink and green little flowers in there. Oh man. Yeah, so Lulu. Lulu was only four, four months, I almost said four years, four months old when we got married. So she wore this dress and I've never been able to give it away. I might have to give it away at some point because she's older now, like she's way older. The idea was to frame it and put it up in her room, but it just never happened, you know? Yeah, it says six months on it. So these are literally the only things that I feel sentimental about in my whole entire life. Like, oh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to wash this and give it away, honestly, because why am I still keeping it like so many years later? Anyway, let's try and see if this will work. Uh, let me be in my Mbalintapo era and try and get this baby whitened. It's got stains now, because like I've been using this gown, you guys. Anyway, let's do it. Let's see.
Yeah, okay, so let's see. I'm gonna leave it in there for a few hours and see, like I'll wash it like in the afternoon sometime. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, from here, I'm gonna hand wash it. I'll hand wash it still like a few hours from now and then I'll still take it and I don't know, should I do that? Put it in the washing machine? Or should I just hand wash it and just call it a day? I think I'll just hand wash it just to be safe and call it a day. I think I'll do that, yeah. I am going to change my bedding. I took my bedding out yesterday. I'm washing the old one. I'm gonna iron this clean one, put it back on the bed, and then, and then we're gonna dye the kids' hair today. Too. Let me do that. Change my bedding, and then do the kids' hair. I guess, yeah.
celebrated or am I faded? You shine so bright, it's an understatement. Single is overrated. If you get too close, my baby, might let you take me back. Watching vlogs. Um, I was gonna go now at at six. So wings are in the oven. Kids are showering. Guys, I'm got kids. I shower now. I'll shower in the dark, I guess. Um, yeah, that's that. I'll show you our dinner and then call it a day. I'll show you the kids' hair tomorrow. Yeah, and that's that. I'm watching, guys. It's so nice. People are doing vlogmas. People are posting these vlogs galore. So yeah, I'm just I'm watching yeah just YouTube right now. So I'll see you guys later. No, I won't see you guys later. You guys will see my food later. You and I will chat again tomorrow. Here's our dinner, you guys. Quick Friday meal. Saturday. It's very early in the morning. We're getting ready to go to church now. I'm debating whether I should work out, which I think I should because I'm not working out tomorrow. I think I'm going to go do a quick 30, 40 minute workout, get ready to go to church. It's the first Saturday of the month, so you know we have our prayer every first Saturday at church. So yeah that's what we're doing and then we're coming back home i've got a few things to do back here at home i've got some clothes of mine like bottoms ne, that i want to i want to try on and then take to the tailor 
because I have a small waist issue like with my with my especially pants but some skirts as well where they um, either leave that gaping uh, you know hole whatever thing at the back or they just sit way too low because the waist is too big so I need to try a few of them on take them to the tailor finally because honestly because also it's summer you see so I can't wear them um covered anymore like during the season like I have to wear like a top that shows the waist I can't cover up I can't like put on a jersey or a sweater or anything like that so I'm gonna have to attend to them and also just for them to sit the way they they were meant to sit so that's what we're doing today i'm having my coffee and then i'm gonna go do a workout so i'll see you guys later when i've showered and everything <coughs> done ready eating having porridge then we'll be on our way out and then i'll show you my outfit i'll show you this dress i got from mr price hey let me show you the back this dress i don't know if you can see if this that this part I don't know if you can see this part is too up. It's supposed to sit here, ne? It's supposed to sit here. The reason it's doing that is because I had to adjust it. It was too big, but now I feel like I adjusted it way too much and now it lifts at the back. And also the fact that I am part of the EDBD club. I'll show you the rest of my outfit and then we'll be out. We'll catch up as the day progresses. Quick OOTD. Give me a dress with pockets and I'm a happy girl. That's my outfit. And then I'm wearing these cute sandals from Woolworths. Ah, yeah. Let's go. Lulu, come show them your hair. Lulu. Ginger girl. Yes, they can see. Cute. Okay, let's go. Tuna, tuna, tuna mayo sandwich. so I can take them to the tailor you guys I'm so lazy it's so hot I came back took my wig threw it very far away so first things first my gown it worked guys it worked it's definitely whiter than it was another thing that I want to tell you is that so the sleeves ne, had these dark I think there's still a little one small little one left on here yeah this here, babe? Yeah. Baby, you yeah, have vlog. Um, okay, no, this is a burn, burn mark. I thought it was one of them, that's why it didn't come off. So it cleaned it, like it proper cleaned. The sleeves are clean, 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 clean. So it did work, you guys. I'm happy with it. Bicarb works. My name is Nam Samzozo and I am a housekeeper. <laughs> Guys, okay, let me try these on quickly. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna make very quick, it's hot. So these jeans are like three quarter, so all these pants, the black ones, are like three quarter pants. And uh, they're meant to be high-waisted, but gay. A high waist for me means... <laughs> I'm sitting here with Wabo. So, number one, Ebo. It's meant to sit like this, guys. It's meant to sit like this. 
But see, when with the shirt, you can't even tell. Everywhere else, it's sitting perfectly. But now, what if I don't want to wear it with a like an oversized shirt table? What if I want to wear it with a bodysuit or a tight top or a cropped top, something, you know? So, number one, I'm just wondering how much this is gonna be because tailors are not cheap, okay? Those people don't come cheap. But I have to do what I have to do. These, I'm going to show you how they're meant to sit because of what I did. I think I did this for a shoot. I usually just do this, guys, when I want to wear my stuff, like if I want to shoot content and I know there's a problem with it, I'll fix it, like I'll do like a temporary solution just to fix it. So this is what I had to do with these ones, right? I had to adjust them because, do you see that? Because I needed them to sit a certain way, but these ones I'll say it was my fault. I remember specifically when I bought them, I was in my baggy pants era. I wanted them to sit very baggy, very loose, but now I don't want that with these ones particularly. I'm still a fan of like um, baggy bottoms, like uh, pants. So, so here, I've already like measured for him. So this is how they sit. I love these pants. I don't know if you guys can see the tassels. They've got tassels at the bottom, my most favorite pair of pants. So these are going as well. That's item number two. I'm just gonna do the pants quickly. And then these are high-waisted with a belt. They are from H&M. They are a dupe of those Zara, very viral Zara ones. I have a red one from Zara the belted high-waisted belted ones with pockets yeah i'll say dupes because when i bought them i also thought they would sit like those but these are more like linen the material um so let me show you the back first table humongous and the sizes are small hey and this one is big it's got a belt i can fasten the belt and make the belt tight it does alleviate this issue but it makes the pants bulgy in the front yeah? so i'm gonna have to get that sorted these are nice they're black but they're like a linen material perfect for this uh, for this type of weather like i said i want to be able to wear it with like cropped tops bodysuit anything that's like summery and then i'm just gonna do these skirts quickly and then i'm done this skirt is from H&M. We <laughs> are so for real. Um, I'm shooting here because there's no power, so I can switch on light in the closet. So I'm here. And then this mini little number, this is how it's supposed to sit. Do you see that? Do you see that? Right? Cute, but problem. So, going. And then I just had to try them on like one last time to make sure. And then this one, this skirt I wore recently in a reel and shorts. You guys would have seen here on YouTube, those who don't have Instagram or TikTok. I posted on TikTok as well. So, here. This one, you might not think it's big, right? You might not think it's big. It's very uh, illusional, optical illusional. But because of what's happening here, it's, this is how it's meant to sit. You see the difference? When I'm, not, when I'm not tightening it, do you see that? And then when I'm tightening it at the back. So this is gonna have to go. So I had to, for the real, for the shorts thing, Content, I had to tie it with a safety pin at the back. So, yeah, this one is also going. So, yeah, that's that, you guys. Those are the things that I got to get fixed so I can enjoy my clothes with that said. Guys, let's close off this vlog. I'm tired. It's hot. I need to finish editing this video so I can post it tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, subscribing. My new subbies, hi, welcome.
welcome i see you if you've just recently joined us please go and watch videos from when we first started and how we got here so you can get to understand you know me and just how this channel operates and and i want to ask you guys please if you are on instagram if you are watching on like your tv please if you don't mind just sharing on instagram tagging me and i can reshare it on my stories it really does help get uh, the channel growing and please let me know what you think about new christmas intro guys i i love that intro so much i did that it was very impromptu i literally had like a, an idea and i executed it immediately and uh i think it's helped me every time i watch that video i don't know how many times i've watched it since making it and editing it lonaba even said mama is obsessed i definitely am obsessed you know why i feel like it's 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 getting me to this christmas spirit that i've been struggling to get into so i hope it does the same for you guys let me see you on the next one bye Won't you coming out of the snow and cold